All right, so ever since the Love and Thunder update dropped, I've had quite a few people reaching out to me asking to see some gameplay using Destroyer because I made a video a couple months ago showing how useful he was, or is rather, at tier two when it comes to countering the likes of Thanos because Thanos is now doing energy damage and Destroyer when it comes to energy-based characters, he's one of the best, if not the best in the game. And because of this, I wanted to test him out fully transcended with a pretty decent build. Now, we don't have any Odins on here. We could go further, but as crazy as I am, I'm not that crazy. I'm not gonna give him 20 Odin's blessings without seeing if he can actually effectively counter people like Emma Frost and Adam Warlock. We know he can counter Thanos at tier two. So the two people that I really wanna see him against today is actually Adam Warlock, who is extremely toxic for timeline battle. I love the guy to death, but I know that not everybody has him really, really well built. And even if you have a very, very good build for your Adam Warlock, you can still lose to another Adam Warlock. So we're gonna test out Destroyer and see if he can actually get some work done for us. Okay, so first game up, we're using Molecule Man's leadership with Destroyer and Colossus. Molecule Man is just here so that he dies and Thanos kills himself. This is where we really put Destroyer to the ultimate test. And unfortunately, because he doesn't have iframe ignore, he can't be a counter for Adam Warlock? Really? Let's run that back. Shout out to PV. I'm gonna be running a couple different simulation matches here against a few different people. I find that it's best to use Molecule Man to start the fight off so that you can force Thanos into using his fifth skill. That way when he kills your Molecule Man, he instantly kills himself. Now, let's see what happens here. I'm not gonna move Destroyer, really? Like he's just on the precipice. Yeah, he's just on the cusp of being able to make Adam Warlock one-shot himself, but he's just not quite there yet. Looks like he needs a uniform to make him a little bit better, a little bit tankier. Maybe some additional damage reduction from, hmm. Maybe we don't need, let's do this. Maybe we don't need you. Maybe what we do need is Red She-Hulk. I think Red She-Hulk, because Red She-Hulk will give us a little bit of damage reduction and some additional HP. We don't need the debuff removal because we're not really attacking. So maybe this would work out a little bit better. More HP to help me stay alive a little bit longer. And I believe we'll get the same result from Red She-Hulk dying and then Colossus instantly dying to Thanos. But then Thanos should instantly die to Destroyer and Destroyer should hopefully, yep, he survives now with Red She-Hulk. However, maybe I should turn on the autoplay. Hmm. He's doing a little bit better, a little bit better with Red She-Hulk, but let's, let's run that back and let's see. Is Destroyer the answer we are looking for? You know what, let's just turn on, yeah, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna do much damage anyways. They're both gonna die. Thanos is gonna kill himself. Like, we know this, this has been confirmed even at tier two. Ooh, yeah, I think he, if he had, yeah, man, if he had iframe ignore or a little bit better survival ability. You know what, maybe if I played manually, because all I would really need to do is just move Destroyer away from Adam Warlock when he goes into that fifth skill. Yeah, I think that's literally all I need to do. Like, let's see. The reflect is just insane. So, okay. So I just move away. I stand over here. And, yeah, he kills himself. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I should give him a slightly better build. In case you guys are wondering, I have the egg on him, right? I have the refinement. I've had this on him for quite some time. Maybe it's better to give him, I don't, yeah, I have a regeneration, but I don't have a reforged one. You guys think it would be better to give him this because we'll get maybe a little bit more HP, sure, but we'll be getting the HP shield that cannot be penetrated instead of the recovery. 
so I'm not too sure which one would be better. I guess when it, it's reforged and you have like the penetration on it, it would be better than the refinement. But since I'm not actively fighting with him, I don't know if I want to give him one of my my uh, regenerations. But if he's working with it, you know what? Maybe next week I'll gamble and I'll check him out with a regeneration because it looks like he's just on the cusp of being able to do it. Like, and it looks like he's he's good enough to take a spot in your team. I wouldn't build like a whole team around him like I'm doing here. But you could put him in in the middle slot to take out um, Thanos. Yeah, unfortunate, man. He just cannot get Adam out of there. Eh? How about Emma Frost? Let's see. Okay, so we have the rank three after five Avengers. Ma, shout out to him. Let's see how this goes. We're going to die, obviously. And Thanos is going to spam his five, which he always does. The five is deadly, but it's deadly for him in this case because destroyer. And now, really? Wow, we don't even reflect anything back at Emma Frost? No, come on. That's sad. That is sad, boys. That is sad. I love Emma Frost to, to bits, man. I love her to bits like I really do. But like, that's unfair. <laughs> That's unfair, bro. Like, well, I guess she was in an iframe, so I can't really. Ex you know what? Let me move away from her. Okay, now she's not in an iframe. Never mind. She kills me. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could catch her outside of her iframe and make her kill herself. So you need to tell me I can't reflect anything back at Emma Frost. I guess because she has so many iframes that she's chaining. Like, I believe the five is a slight iframe, four is a slight iframe, three is a full iframe. I believe one is a slight iframe as well, so it's just like two that's not an iframe. Yeah, she's not. Yeah, she's kind of nuts, eh? Unfortunately, I don't think Destroyer is gonna give us the results that we were hoping for. He has potential. I think he's a good character for Alliance Conquest, like on the second team. Definitely not on your main team, but on your second team to catch people slipping, right? We've seen here he can counter Thanos every single time. But I don't think he's, unfortunately, worthy of a spot in a 3v3 PvP setting. It's more like 6 on 6. He could be like a useful tool in Alliance Conquest. Let me try the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Can we actually get one over on this man? Maybe it was a fluke. Maybe that man was just like really OP. Let's see if the Nature Boy will fall. Or at least it's Emma Frost. Come on. Let me just move away. Yep. Okay. Come on. No. Unfortunately, we can't. Yeah, we can't do it. Guys, unfortunately, Destroyer doesn't look like he's the answer. Mm, is there a better team I could use? Okay, guys. So I'm going to test out the full reflect team and see how it goes. Oof. Starting off with Surfer. Maybe I should start off with Destroyer. I don't know. Oof. Okay. Like, I think like, this is the team that people could put together, yeah? But the problem is, my Emma Frost has a judgment on her. Unfortunate. I was hoping to kill off Reflect. Um, I'm gonna have to swap my Emma Frost back to a CTP of regeneration, but for now, she has a judgment. I was just hoping to kill off the Reflect, and I also need to swap Surfer over to authority i've been finding that um with people having so much attack now as opposed to back in the old days um yeah regen for him may no longer be the best i think he dies too quickly he doesn't get the chance to reflect as much so i think if you have a surfer maybe you want to switch him over to authority yeah it looks like the full reflect team won't work at least this round i'll try it again when i have authority maybe maybe i think Maybe authority would be better for destroyer as well because then when the invincibility kicks in, yeah, you know what? Maybe authority would be better because give them damage reduction from the steel, and then when the invincibility kicks in, then he wouldn't be able to die if they don't have penetration, and then he would have a chance to reflect damage in their face while not taking any damage himself. Interesting. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of gambling, boys. We're gonna have to pick up some CTPs. What's on chance of right now? 
greed shit so i can't even do it today boys because um whenever i gamble i only get the cpp that's on chance up and i have to do like what is it like 10 11 pulls to get one ctp so i'm gonna have to wait until there's a chance up on authority and i'm gonna come back to this and i'm gonna try this team again i'm gonna go full reflect gods and see how we do with surfer with a mighty um authority this boy here destroyer with a mighty authority and maybe i'll try emma frost with a mighty authority as well i need like what five of them <laughs> oh god we have fifty thousand crystals so we probably should be able to get some i do need some for alliance conquest so we'll see how it goes anyways guys we're gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for watching unfortunately the results were not what i was hoping for but hopefully the information allows you guys to make some type of sound decision when it comes to destroyer i would not advise transcending this guy i only did it because i have the resources to do so and i was curious to see if by transcending him the stat bump would allow him to actually stay alive longer and get some w's unfortunately the same thing he was doing at tier 2 is the only thing that he can currently do after you transcend him unless you invest you invest more so i will try to invest a little bit more and see if i get better results smash that like button if you want to see more destroyer content and see if we can take him a little bit further into the realm of the gods.